Matt Scratch, and I want to talk to you today about drill bits and how to sharpen them, how to maintain them, how to get the best drilling performance out of them. So I guess what we'll look at first is the wrong way to sharpen one. And I'm going to have a time getting this to focus good enough. There you go, you can see the tip is actually split on that one. And that's a defect caused by thinning this too much. I'll show you that later in the video. You have to thin the flute a little bit on the end as you sharpen it down. As you're taking the material off, that area will get wider. And what will happen then, if, you, if it gets too wide in the flute area, then you'll get uh, a bit of an angle across your your pointed tip there. That one's not too bad, but you want to aim for as straight as possible in the center. It's going to drill a lot better if you have a big angle across there. It's not going to be an aggressive cutting tip. You're going to need a pilot hole with a, a bit that big anyways, but uh, that's something. And another thing is when you're sharpening these, you can change that angle. You can mess around with that. If you make it steeper, it's going to cut more aggressively. It's going to be more prone to uh, jamming up. And if you were to make it uh, less of an angle, more flat on the end, and it would be uh, less aggressive cutting. But that can be useful for certain applications. Like I've made one like that for drilling out spot welds before and different things like that. Um, if you get these uneven, it's only going to grab on the one side, it's going to cut uneven and it's going to drift and uh, it won't drill a straight true hole. You'll notice right away if you mess that up when you're sharpening it, as soon as you start to use the bit you'll feel it jumping around and it won't feel right. Um, one other bit I want to talk about is the uh, DeWalt Pilot Tip bits. I really like these bits. They're handy, but they're they're quite pricey, and they do break, and they do go dull, and they're hard to uh, maintain because of the uh, pilot tip feature. So um, I kind of limit their use. I uh, I normally use a uh, normal pilot bit and follow it up with a larger bit. Sorry, that's not focusing very good. One other bit that can be useful is um, a step bit. You can sharpen the tip with a step bit, but uh, really it's not going to do you much good because uh, as these different steps go dull here, it's going to uh, fail to cut anyways. So it might help you get started if you sharpen up that tip, but... Uh, Aside from that, it's almost pointless. So I've never sharpened one, and uh, you can buy these for about 10 bucks for a set of three for these smaller sized ones up to uh, 7 8 But uh, when you get over an inch, then they do get pricey. So, and you want to make sure you're always lubing these lots when, you, when you're running them, uh, uh, along with any other drill bit when you're cutting steel. Um, I really like this good old 3-in-1 oil. Works great for lube and uh, it also protects your drill bits against rusting, which is another thing I want to mention. If you allow your drill bits to rust, it's going to um, cause them to uh, not perform as well because the, the rust is going to pit the uh, cutting edge and it's not going to be as good of an edge. Um, the cutting edge is not just on the end. Uh, there's a cutting edge going all the way up to the drill bit on the sides of the flutes here so rust can damage that edge and uh, it'll also just add to the friction that's you know created when the bit goes through the material so generally you want to keep them from rusting you want to keep them sharp you don't want to drop them on the concrete that dulls them really quick and another thing is the bigger the bit the slower you spin it um, if it's squealing, you're spinning it too fast, you're overheating it, you're going to work hard in the material and dull in the bit is all that will happen. So at that point you want to slow down and add some cutting oil. Um, a smaller bit you can spin faster, um, of course. You still want to use oil either way. And uh, 
So I'm just going to go ahead here and uh, sharpen up a few bits and kind of show you the technique. I like to use this uh, belt sander, but I've used angle grinders and uh, bench grinders before, whatever you have and whatever works for you. Um, so if you were doing like an angle grinder, you just lay it flat on the table and, and work with it like that, or, you know, you'd use the side of the wheel and a bench grinder normally works best. So, But for this, it... Uh, it's just perfect for me, and it's what I have, so. so you kind of want to wanna kind of start off this clogging edge and then roll your way to the cutting edge when you're doing it. So you kind of knock the angle, and then you just give it a little bit of You might want to practice on larger bits, but uh, yeah, it's just basically a, a slight spinning motion. Got to hold the angle right. Just, just do a few, and then you check it. You have to make sure to, that your grinding marks cover the end evenly, and that it, it looks even side to side. And and the point will tell you if you've got a nice point, then you've probably done a good job. So here's one where the, I'm just going to show you how you would take that flute down. This does work better on the bench grinder, but you go like that. And you want to make sure that when you're doing that, you're not dinging up your new edge over here, because this is the cutting edge and this is the back edge. So when you do that, you you can go back over it a couple more times now. And then you'll have a nice tip on there. main key when you're drilling is just don't overheat your bit, don't spin it too fast and keep lots of lube on there. Um, one trick if you've got a problem with it jamming up a lot and you're using a cordless, you can use that, uh, that torque feature. You can spin back the setting on your cordless and make it so it will kick out and start clicking if it jams up. Because sometimes, especially with these bigger bits, you know, when you jam up you can take a real chunk out of the edge and you'll have to uh, spin quite a lot of time at your grinder to try and get that chunk back out. Um, sometimes you can chip the flutes farther up and then uh, that bit's never going to work very good unless you want to go through the work of cutting it off and grinding a new point farther down. Uh, that one's pretty well going to go in the garbage because uh, it's just not going to drill right, it's not going to clear the shavings out of the hole right if the flute is damaged. So, uh, so yeah, basically uh, just don't get too rambunctious when you're drilling a hole. Um, slower is faster, basically. Um, when you uh, speed up, you normally just end up with a catch anyways, and then you, you wreck your drill bit and your hole ends up being inaccurate or or whatever. So, uh, yeah, the slow and easy wins the race on this one.